Can you describe actually like why you brought us to Foley Square? This is the first place where, uh, for me, where I started documenting the Black Lives Matter movement and uh, where it was put out and it was like, it's going down here. It was like one o'clock in the afternoon. I showed up and this place was packed. There's a march. I believe we started walking this way down the street and immediately the cops started arresting people. And it was at this moment where I was like, shit. Once I started shooting, you know, the protests and all that stuff, it's like my following almost doubled. It's, a, it's like gaining in this, this whole new audience of people that were interested in uh, what was going on as far as the Black Lives Matter movement. Um, but also just uh, people that are interested in photojournalism. Yeah, I just wanted to hear a little bit about the photograph you took in Richmond, Virginia, of the Robert E. Lee statue, like how that came about. Shit, the Robert E. Lee stuff. I mean, it was going down. I heard about what was going down for, for weeks there. People were not fucking playing around. They wanted this Robert E. Lee statue gone, dismissed, out of here. It took a, 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 another form of, of life. And then around the back, I saw people playing pickup basketball on this old basketball rim on the grass. And I literally sat there for probably like maybe 45 minutes documenting them, which I thought was the most amazing thing that I've ever seen. I mean, the fact that you're playing basketball on grass in front of this monument that you know, there's probably never been play basketball played there ever. Just amazing. What do you look for when you do a photograph? Like when you go into a scene, do you start seeing things as pictures? Things are happening so quick, especially when you're shooting these protests. We're trying to slow everything down to where I can anticipate which way that person is going to go. It's the same thing with the Robert E. Lee. I looked at the motion of him going up. It was like, okay, I know basketball. So I'm like, he's gonna go up and, you know, this moment of him moving and the flow and the angles and, you know, everything about it is like, this is art, this is poetry in motion. You were also at the Black Trans Lives Matter in yes, March. Yes, that might've been my favorite. That was incredible. Oh my God, that was, <laughs> I'm on the steps of the Brooklyn Museum and looking back, and I said, shit, I got to get on one of these fucking buildings on top of this roof. And I saw people up there. So I run over there, run through people, run up there. And I'm waving up. And I'm like, yo, can I come up? Take photos? And I'm like, yeah, come up. Got up there and I was able to get this epic shot of the sea of people supporting, you know, trans lives, black trans lives. Like, I can't believe you were there. You were at George Floyd's funeral. You were at Abolition Park. You were there at the night of the riots. Like, yeah. it's, it's really coming from your life. It's, it's, not, it's not somebody telling you what to do. It's you living this experience and saying, I'm going to get these pictures. Yeah. I'm going to actually bring this to people. Yeah, uh, man. Like, it's, for me, it's all about, like you said, living. It was being authentic. Shooting the Black Lives Matter, the movement, is the most important work of my entire life being a black man, first and foremost, before being a photographer, before documenting any of this shit. Like I said before, it's like, there's a lot of things that I agree with and there's some that I don't. And I feel like everybody, you know, you're not gonna agree with everything, you know, everyone's angle or whatever, right? It meant the world to me to, to be able to, to come here and document and, and do, you know, this service, you know, like, uh, I'm, I'm not the guy, I wasn't gonna go give a speech. I wasn't the guy to, you know, to rally the troops or any of that shit, but I'm the guy to, this is what I have. This is what I could bring to the table and it's my eye, my platform, and, um, yeah, and, and continue to use my eye and my platform to, to tell the stories um, like we're doing now.